he spoke about evolution, even though the verses of the Quran say "Waqad khalaqakum atwara" in Surah Nuh that Allah created you in stages. Allah mentions in Surah Nuh verse seventeen, "Wallahu ambatakum min al ardi nabata." Allah grew you like plants out of the earth. Now, what is that talking about? And then Allah says in Surah Al-Anbiya, verse 30, أَوَلَمْ يَرَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا أَنَّ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ كَانَتَا رَتْقًا Do they not see how everything was like as one and then we cleft it asunder? And that, وَجَعَلْنَا مِنَ الْمَاءِ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ حَيْءٍ أَفَلَا يُؤْمِنُونَ And from water, from a common water, we created all sources of life. Do they not see this? Yet they do not bring faith. That's verse 30 of Surah Al-Anbiya. How is this anti... Once again, look, you can believe what you want on evolution. I'm not saying it's up to you. But these verses clearly argue for that. I'm just saying, why are these people deviants or heretics or new prophets? How? It makes no sense whatsoever. And as the verse in Surah Ali Imran, إِنَّ مَثَلَ عِيسَى إِنَّ اللَّهِ كَمَثَلِ آدَمِ the example of Jesus uh, is like that of Adam. He created him. That's in Ali Imran, verse 59. He created him from dust and said, be, and he was. Well, we know that's not true for, first of all, for Jesus, because if Jesus is like Adam, then Jesus had a mum. Then that means Adam must have had a mother. And then you're going to say, well, no, well, that's not the case. Adam didn't have a mother. So when, how is he like Jesus? And then you're saying, well, he created him from dust. Well, you know, Jesus wasn't created from dust. And then you say, oh, no, but it was the command, be and it is. And you say, yeah, but let's just go to that verse. خَلَقَهُ مِنْ تراب. He first of all created him, then said be. So look, خَلَقَهُ مِنْ تراب. He created him from dust. Thumma, after a time had lapsed, said to him, Qala lahu kun fayakun. But he created him first. He wasn't created with the sudden be. Because then why would why would Mary be pregnant? Why didn't she, why wasn't he just created? What was the whole purpose? Allah says, Khalaqahu. He created him. Then said be, and he was. Right, so right, so that's some of these uh, uh, things which I think are important to really um, to really uh, was just seeing here if there was uh, another important verse. I want you to pay attention to this. This is Surah Al Mu'minun on evolution. Right, Allah speaks. Um, Right, verse 12 and 13. This is incredibly important, right? On Surah Al-Mu'minun, Allah says, وَلَقَدْ خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ مِنْ صُلَالَةٍ مِنْ طِينٍ We created insan from a gooey kind of substance of clay. And many people said that this extract, this kind of sulala, sorry, a gooey extract, many people today say that is DNA uh, that is being referred to. Mintin. Most of the Mufassirin say that this, by the way, Insan, you can check Tabari and all these other books, they say Insan here is Adam. Created Adam, they say. Then we placed him, him. We made him a drop. A droplet and nutfa is usually a droplet of sperm fi qararim makin in a stable um which is the womb qarar in a stable uh, place now some of them here the mufassirin get confused because if the first one was adam then how was adam in a womb so here some of them say maybe this is talking now the second who is talking about people in general. Other people said, no, maybe Adam was created and then placed in an artificial womb. Like Allah created a womb-like structure and put him in it. 
And then those people who argued for evolution, like Dr. Abdul, uh, Abdul Sabur Shaheen and other people, they said, well, why if, if, if wombs were already available? Why would Allah create an artificial womb-like structure? So look, these are verses of the Qur'an that are being used. They're not like somebody's not bringing this out of thin air. So I think that's really important. The second key factor that uh, Sheikh Yasser Qadi went to was about the Qur'aniyun. And I agree with him here that look, and by the way, on the evolution point, uh, Yasser Qadi said Allah clearly mentions in the Qur'an about Adam and Hawa. Uh, and anybody who disagrees with this, first of all, Hawa, is not mentioned in any verse of the Quran. Okay, there is no mention of Eve in the Quran. Just to clarify that for uh, Sheikh Yasser Qadi Sahib, Damat Barakatukumul Aliya. There is no mention of Eve in the Quran. Eve uh, is mentioned in some hadith. In the Quran, Allah mentions at about five or six places. We created you from a single soul. In none of those verses does he ever mention that to be Adam. So any verse in which Allah mentions the origin of mankind, that we created you from a single soul, and from it we made many, uh, or from, uh, and you know from it or its partner we set forth many. Adam is never mentioned in those verses. The the word Adam, although the name Adam is used on countless occasions in the Quran, but never used where Allah is speaking about we created you all from Adam and so on like that. In these verses where وَلَقَدْ خَلَقْنَاكُمْ مِنْ نَفْسٍ وَاحِدًا and so on. That is just, um, it always just says from a self. Another interesting verse is one of them. I, I don't, let me see if I've highlighted it here somewhere. It's worth bringing up if it is here. Right, see, oh, this is an interesting verse in Surah Al-A'raf. Uh, and you can ask Sheikh Yasser Qadi this, that you see, He created you from a single self. And by the way, this is always feminine whenever it is used. It is never masculine. Created you from a single self, a feminine self. And from it created its, the feminine, its partner. And so he may find compassion, or sorry, he may find tranquility in her. When he covered her, intimately sexually she became pregnant she carried she was of child for and as time went by when it became when she became heavily pregnant they cried out to their lord if you give us a pious child we will be grateful when he gave them either a pious or a fully bodied, an able bodied, a sound child, it, when he gave them a sound child, they committed shirk with Allah. Most Mufassireen say that's Adam. How is that Adam? Why is Adam committing shirk? And then they say, oh, he only committed shirk in name, like he decided to name his child after another god. But, that, but he didn't believe it, he just named it. What a stupid thing to say. Why would Adam السلام, be committing shirk? It doesn't make any sense. Unless this person that is being spoken of is from before Adam. Right, another interesting thing is Inni ja'ilun fil ardi khalifa. I will place something, khalifa means something that comes at the end of, on earth. The end of who? The end of the other hominins that will succeed the other hominins. So this, that's um, that's uh, those who are arguing in favor of evolution. And look, if you don't want to accept evolution, you don't have to. Although it is pretty much a scientific fact now through genetics that we are connected. All of life on earth is connected. So, but don't call people who do believe that the world around us is, you know, it, it's something Allah has told us to explore and it, it's reconcilable with the Qur'an. Don't tell us that that is somehow uh, devaluing the Qur'an. Right, now... The